Hello and welcome back to the Metropol Grid. My name is Andre. Thanks so much for tuning in. Right now we are playing Max 102, which is a max deck with 102 cards, which is pretty funny because they're playing against Potential Unleashed and they're probably trying to kill us. And it's going to be really hard with all these cards. Uh, let's see how long it takes them to notice that we have 97 cards in our stack. It usually takes a while before people realize that, especially on Jinteki.net. It's super obvious when you play in the meat space just because you put down a stack of cards, which is the size of like a... Uh, I don't know, like a lunchbox, kind of? It's, like, really tall. This hand's actually really good. We have ways to make money. Uh, we don't have any I've had worse, but, like, you can do a lot worse than this. And we're able to contest uh, rushes, and we're able to contest code gates, which is actually okay. I'm going to keep this. So I've had some experience uh, playing against Potential Unleashed in uh, on the tables, playing as Max, and I've actually been decked by potential unleash just because i think i play a bit more aggressively considering i have all these cards uh this is like you'd think this might be just a direct counter to this but we can still die and we're not running any net damage protection so we'll see how this goes this is the competitive lobby so uh this is probably like a better potential unleash stack 43 and they're running 49 cards which is good so it looks like they're gonna go straight into remote and we're gonna play some sort of Hope we don't hit the psychic field game. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so we're going full casino mode. The fact that we also get free card draw with Max really helps. Uh, I gotta move my camera. Sorry, one second. Yeah, the fact that we have a uh, free card draw helps a lot in this matchup. Just because if we hit something really bad, it's not gonna be that bad. Uh, so I assume we want to at least check one of these. Uh, do server one. That was my random choice. And it's a bioethics, which is good. We're going to trash that for sure. I don't think we want to run the other ones so much. Uh, There's a chance actually we want to run server 2 or server 3, see what it is, and then put a Queen's Gambit on it if it's like not entirely important. So let's also try server 3. The fact that we got the bioethics is good, because even if we wipe our hand and can't drop, so that's another bioethics. This is really good. I imagine that they're going to come back with friends in high places. So I think it's probably in our best interest just to click for credits. We probably got lucky. I don't think we want to check server 2, because I'd assume they weren't going to put down only good cards, and there's probably one dud in there. Or one trap, more accurately. I'm going to throw out the Black Orchestra. This is the deck that definitely runs uh, our clock down, so there's going to be a bit of counterplay. The fact that we have one other Black Orchestra in our deck helps a lot. But we got these two down, so we always want to keep four credits on us, because if they do play friends in high places, it's going to suck. I also want to see whether or not they're going to respect Rumor Mill. Because we are running Rumor Mill, it's a 2 of and 102 cards, because I didn't deem it as, like, the most important card. But we'll see how this goes. Uh, they drew up once. I think we also... Like, that's a problem with this deck, is if... In some ways you want to draw heavily, but in other ways, against this sort of matchup, you don't want to draw heavily. Most of our code gate breakers are gone. Let's ask anything you want to do. If they want to use their Jackson to shuffle into bioethics, okay, they say no. So I guess we're going to open with making an entrance. So we can basically choose the order of the cards on top of our deck so that we can draw and trash them. It gets a bit more interesting with Potential Unleashed because they can technically interrupt this, whatever we planned. So if we're not trashing any of these flat out, which I don't think we will, considering this matchup, we want as many hit points as we can, and we already have 96 or whatever. Uh, so we got to figure out what we need for sure. I think frantic coding is not good in this matchup, considering it thins our deck heavily, and that's bad. Retrieval run's definitely good, considering uh, they're probably going to trash things we want. And I think dirty laundry is also pretty good, just because money is going to be important. This seems like a good turn to day job, but we've already done this. Oops. That's fine. Earthrise is also not so good. I don't want to draw that heavily. So... What's the chance that this is an agenda? Because we could always just Queen's Gambit in and hope for the best. I'm assuming it's not an agenda. If it was a House of Knives, they definitely would have scored it. Worst case is that's um, a fetal AI and whatever. Okay, so choose a card to trash. We're not going to trash any of these. Choose a card to move next onto your stack. So I think next, the last card we want to draw is Retrieval Run. And then we don't need a paperclip, we don't need a frantic coating. We do want to draw the dirty laundry, and Earthrise and Knife are neither that good. I agree with this, this seems good. Okay, if we draw now, it goofs everything. <laughs> I really hate playing this card, it's like so hard to math this out. Uh, I think we're just going to put three advancements on here. 
That's also a good reason why you ask, is there anything you want to do? Because now they have to consider resing or de-resing their face down cards. Um, they also now have to figure out whether or not they need to, like, whether they're going to abuse that and put down, you know, House of Knives and hope that we queen scam bit it. Last click we could have ran. I don't think I want to do that just because if I hit snare, in theory, if they're playing Scorched Earth, that's going to be a problem. And it was a House of Knives. Damn it. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, well, we helped them a lot there. If we ran everything first turn, we would have been really good. <laughs> that was awful. Uh, so this card's really, really good in the matchup because every time we run, it'll trash not only a card in our hand, but a card from our deck. Oh, we played into that so hard. I thought, what was the chance of that, right? I thought they would have scored it. Oh, no. If you're playing against Nteki Personal Evolution, there's an argument why they wouldn't score agendas right away. But, uh, yeah, that sucked. We could have maybe just ran that first. Okay, so if we run this, we could lose entire hand. There's not that many things we actually have to check about running, right? Considering that we got two of these out here. Like, getting three of these on the table is a way to lose. I think we actually want to check HQ right now. We can recover from this. They can also House of Knives us, which means that we won't draw a Retrieval run. Not the end of the world. Really isn't. So let's go HQ. <laughs> That's fine. So we got a Shocked. We trashed that. Yeah, okay. This is why you bleed cards. So we draw now, we draw a Retrieval run. Right? And now if we want to run this, I think we do need to trash this. And these cards are not that good, so I want to draw after I trash this, because they might ping us for two more damage with the House of Knives. And I'm glad they're using this when they don't have like a kill condition. Because if they actually have things on the board... Okay, that's a Bioethics. So we trash this. It does one damage to us. Is that worth it? Man, we could use some Scrubbers right now. Oh, we lost one. Shame. We would have drawn that if we didn't run. Oh no, we would have trashed it. Uh, so if we trash this, we lose one card. If they have th two Neural EMPs or three Neural EMPs in their hand, uh, none of these cards are that good. We can afford to play like this. And we'll draw up. And we have another Queen's Gambit, which is okay. So based off of how we played that, that uh, making answers was entirely useless. We basically trashed all six of those cards. Luckily, we have 82 left, so we might be in a good spot as long as we don't die to burst kill. Like, it's still totally possible to die to um to uh, burst kill. Attrition kill is a lot harder. This deck at one point actually ran a levy, and I cut that out at the last minute. It'd also be really good if we drew in our employee strike, just because turning off this ability halves the amount of damage it can potentially do. I think this ability is much more its more suited to an attrition kill than it is something like a Ronin kill or like a burst kill, which is something you could see in uh, Chinteki Personal Evolution. So I think we're actually okay. We might be okay. If they're friends in high places right now, it's actually really bad. Oh, they're not. Okay, that's fine. And we're getting free card draw. Having a Mimic would be good, but I think we need to trash this for sure and probably just either Queen's Gambit a card and hope for the best. I think a lot of players don't assume you're running three Queen's Gambit. So they might actually, like we have a 50-50 of giving them another House of Knives or not. Okay, they got one Queen's Gambit, so we definitely want to trash this. Oh, we lost our other Queen's Gambit. Damn it. I think we just need to drop. We need to find a Scrubber. We need to find money. That's good. Uh, and I think we're just going to put down Daily Cast so we have money. Like, these can be two bioethics, so it's actually okay to go down to two cards in hand. We did run, so again, like, triple. Oh, single bioethics. Okay. Well, they, that's the thing. is like they, ran out of their, they used their House of Knives, I think, in points where it wasn't entirely important. If they kept them now, it's like, oh, do you want to run bioethics and take two damage or not? Uh, bioethics is a political asset, so they can't protect it, which is really good for us. And we perfectly will have two credits to deal with this. And they don't have enough money to get out um, another uh, hostile infrastructure, so things might be okay. Their agendas are all going to be in HQ, so we just need a way to deal with a single piece of ice. This could be like a Komainu. So using something like Knight is probably really bad on it, even though Knight is generally our like de facto face check breaker a lot of the times. We could just get an MK Ultra in the bin and have enough money and basically be okay, considering we have a paperclip and Black Orchestra in here too. 
So it's just going to be money. If we drew a scrubber, and we have two of them, right? I would even consider Deja Vuing for a scrubber at this point. I'm not sure if that's an optimal way to use Deja Vu in this matchup, considering that card's going to be, like, incredibly... Uh, it's it's going to do a lot of work. And there we go. And this is a really big problem, is they're going to put out two more Bioethics, and I th think we might lose right here. Oh, a Hostile Infrastructure, which is fine, because they can't actually res that. Vigil's good in this matchup. So, let's see. Bioethics... We just have to trash both of these these turn, and then we'll be fine unless they play another one, uh, another Friends in High Places. So survey it's a bioethics, and this is a bioethics. So if we click click, we can trash trash, and that's ideal, because they can't res this. Hostile nine, thank you. I spelled appreciate wrong, but that's fine. So let's trash this. Then we just have to take two credits. The fact that we're getting like free card draw, we're doing nothing is really good. If they play another, um, like that's the thing. Next turn, if they play another Friends in High Places, they need five credits. They need basically seven credits because they also need to be able to res this thing. They're hostile if they want to really lock us down. So we're going to be holding on. Uh, we If we drew a scrubber right now, it'd be so awesome. Uh, just because those we can trash for basically one credit. We can trash two of those and that's going to help a lot. Looks like they're going to credit credit up. Oh, they couldn't even rest. Oh, they could have rest one of them. The other one was already rest. So yeah, two damage was going to come regardless. And I think if we just hold on long enough, we can finally just run HQ and hopefully win. The fact that also we know where the bioethics is is a really big deal. Like uh, Queen's Gambit helps a lot against, um, what's it called, Friends in High Places, because you know where the cards are, so you can start Queen's Gambiting things. Oh, we got a Scrubber. Fuck yes. So we put down Scrubber. Uh, we're going to be at uh, two credits. So if we credit, credit, we'll be at four. So we can't even contest this just yet. We want to get this on the table before we do any damage. Street Peddler is also probably not worth in this matchup, considering it'll take three cards out of our deck. So I think we just put this down and click for credits. And then next turn, we can for sure contest this thing. We're not running Salsa Slums, because I don't think that's that important of a card. Oh, Celebrity Gift. So they're holding a Neural, a Shock, a Celebrity Gift, and a Neural. So they're running two Neurals, which is really important to know uh, based on what kind of damage they can do to us. We lost the Caddy, which sucks. I want to run Server 9. There's a chance that they'll run to res to, uh, bio, uh, to um, what's it called, Hostile Infrastructures, because they can afford it. And I'm fine with that. As long as we have more than enough money to uh, not die to double Neural, more than enough cards. So let's check this out first. Uh, I think we might actually be okay installing Vigil. They're not going to res this. I think that's smart. So successful run. Use this. And we don't actually lose a card, which is good. So I think we have nothing else really to do besides draw. Oh, that's really good. We need that. And take some credits. Drawing a simple thing like an Armitage would help so much right now. So we don't know what either of these cards are. We do know that there's only one Bioethics in the game. On the Celebrity Gifting again. And they're showing us their entire hand. So they do have another hostile infrastructure. So they install a card. It's either hostile or the, the, the shock. And I think we're okay checking regardless what it is. Uh, we can also play down an employee strike, which is pretty good. Uh, it lessens the kind of damage we're doing. Wanted Destruction is also really good in this matchup just to get the neural EMP. So I'm going to play this just so that it saves us one card if this is a, a shock. We'll check this out. We know that they're also not holding um, friends in high places. And it's an infrastructure. Like, they're showing us exactly what they're installing, which I think is not great. And we have nothing really else to do right now besides click for credits. There's an argument to put Vigil down, but I'd actually rather have credits just so if they do top deck the friends in high places, we have enough money to contest what could potentially be two bioethics or a bioethics in a hostel. So we're just going to play it nice and slow. This might be like the worst matchup for these, but I have lost before against Max 1 and 2 with Potential Unleashed. Like, it is possible. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. I, they haven't noticed. I don't know if they've noticed so far. It's 60 cards. I assume they have to, just because they're going to be looking at this number. Normally that does elicit a response in chat, but we'll see. This on the table is really good. We know they don't have a current in hand, and they're probably not running that 2-1 agenda. There's a chance they actually are running a current. I think two really good ones are Cerebral Static. Oh, they're advancing that. Okay. So what is this is the question. I would assume that this is a fetal AI. 
If it's a Ronin too, like it's not the end of the world. The problem is, what's this piece of ice? Cur uh, they might want to score that just to get employee strike off. So maybe we have to run on this. Sorry my face is in the way, but I don't know if there's a better place to put my face considering uh, there's going to be cards here. So let's move it just for a second. Um, so let's see. We can always pull back paperclip. I'm not that worried about that. I'm worried about it being a sentry. And Cortex Lock is a problem. Anything else we can, in theory, deal with Mimic if we have enough credits? The problem is if we put that Mimic down and click click for two credits and we run this and say it costs us two credits to break, we need, need two credits on us to be able to uh, steal a Fetal AI. So I don't know whether we would actually let this go. Running HQ is no good considering we know what that is. If they score a 5-3, like, they are probably running... Um, What's it called? Global Food Initiative? We're not, or more likely, actually, uh, Future Perfect. But they wouldn't have put a Future Perfect on the table. So this is more than likely just two points. Which I'm actually not... Like, I don't think we need to run. I'd rather just set up. Like, get our Mimic down and just keep clicking for credits. I don't want to play Street Peddler. I think we're just going to play this as safe as possible because we are in a good position. Uh, getting a Caddy on the table would be kind of absurd. And we've only lost one so far. So I think I'm just gonna click for three credits, put that mimic. It seems okay. There's no like we know they're also running what is that thing called Aiki? Aiki is a code gate? What is Aiki? Aiki is a code gate, so we can yog through that. That card's actually not that bad for us with uh employee strike on the table. So I think yeah, we're just gonna put that mimic and click for credits. We also have, in theory, if they have enough money, we have David, so we can respect cards like um DNA Tracker, which if they're playing Celebrity Gift, they might want to afford that. There's a chance also they don't score this, right? Like if that is a, what's it called, a Ronin? Now they have it set up so they can do advanced, advanced score. And now they're advancing everything. What's the chance these are traps? Oh, shit. Shit, that's a problem. And that actually turns off the current a lot better. Uh, okay. I think we might want to put same on thing on the table just to pull the current out, but if this is an agenda, it's, it sucks. How long was that there for? We probably should have ran that. Do we just click for credits? I think we put that on same old thing and just click for credits. Or probably just click for credits and throw it vigil. Like there's not much else we have to do. If they score this agenda and it's a it is a two five, that puts them on four points. So now we do actually have to run every single face down events thing. The thing is if that was an agenda, I'd assume they would have scored it. Just because we weren't gonna run on this one and this one looked like it was the target, so I'm not entirely sure. I think I'm just going to actually click for credits. We need to get an MK Ultra in here at some point. Because Mimic does have some drawbacks. <laughs> let's just let's just say Server 7's a Ronin and we're going to play around that. So Ronin, they advance and then they can score it. Uh... We know HQ is probably a lot of neural EMPs and one shock because they haven't thrown anything out. So I don't think we want to run that. I think we're just going to run R&D hopefully once every turn from now on and just see the top card. What's the worst this could be? If it's a psychic field, we could lose to Ronin. We also have to respect House of Knives from now on. In theory, if this is a Komainu, it's also shitty because we have so much hand size. I think we want to put the same old thing on the table before we do anything reckless. Do we just run R&D? Like, if this is another House of Knives, that's in I think that's pretty unlikely. Let's be a... I think we can actually afford the Street Peddler. I've had worse. No good. Memstrips, no good. David, no good. Okay, maybe we can't. We're just going to draw. Oh, Rumor Mail is okay, I guess. We'll click for credit. We're just going to play it slow. We're halfway through our deck now. We're at 47 cards left out of 102, so a bit more than halfway. Get out. Is that another House of Knives? Are you serious? Jesus Christ, this is really bad. I think now we same old thing for uh, Employee Strike. What's the chance of that? Oh boy, we can still lose. We can easily lose to this. Because this is, this is going to do a lot of damage to us. We have Medium, which is good. So I think we're just going to pull out Employee Strike and then run R&D. I don't know. If they score this, so be it. If this is a Kamainu, it's actually bad because we have a lot of cards in hand. 
But at least now they're House of Knives they might not use. This is a DNA tracker. It's also like, eh. Three cards from hand is not that bad. Yeah, it is a DNA tracker. Okay, install Black Orchestra. Nope. Uh, so that's gonna... F oh, we can pull the David. Actually, this was good. I'd rather keep our money. In theory, we'd want to spoon this, and we have another David to do that. Good accesses. It's a pop-up window. It's not a good access. We asked for good accesses. Uh, apologize. My face is going to get in the way of this no matter what. So behind here, there's nothing like it. There's a knight. So we have a spooned. Um, running... I'm glad that they spend that much money though, that we can actually consider running HQ. Running last click is not ideal considering they have money for snare. I don't think rumor mill is going to do that much, but we might want to keep it. Uh, it's going to be hard to medium this unless we can trash it, so we're going to need a parasite. And I don't think we ever want to play the vigil just because card draw. As much as like, I don't think we're going to die to burst, so getting free card draw isn't that good considering we've diffused all of this stuff. I'm assuming that's also a shock in there. Okay, so let us just take a credit, throw this out. We have the mem strips too. Oh no, it was on the street peddler. So let's see if MU is gonna matter. MU is actually like matters to Cortex Lock. So in theory, if we just keep all these cards on the table, we might be better off. Like if we don't install the mem strips, just so we don't have all this like floating MU. I learned that from a Geist game. <laughs> it's on this channel. It's actually pretty bad. They're just clicking for credits. The good thing we're getting rid of these three cards is that they no longer have an easy way to get rid of Employee Strike. We can assume an upgrade is Hokusai Grid, which is not so bad. Oh, we have money. That's good. I think we're going to money and then run HQ. We're probably going to see a Neural EMP, but I'm okay with them spending money. We'll see how things go. That's a pop-up. So, Black Orchestra? No, we'll just pay one. We could probably parasite that. If we drew Deja Vu, it would be good too. Successful runs in early EMP. I don't think there's any surprises there. So we, uh, Wanton Destruction would be good. How many Deja Vus have we lost? One. So we actually might want to draw once just to see if we can find something. And that's a Vigil. Again, I'm not convinced that we want that. What is this? What's the chance that this is like do four net damage with a Project June bug? I think just an I'll discard cards down. I'll put a David on the table so that we can actually start to threaten R&D. This card we need to trash. Like we actually need to spoon it or parasite it because there's no way we're going to be running through that more than twice. Huh. We're holding on. I think we're holding on. The fact that we got all those House of Knives really sucks. Advance, advance, advance. That was the fetal. I guess we expected that. Most important thing is now not only they're on five points, but they turned off our employee strike. So these cards, they can theory do four damage whenever we run. We thought we were so clever. So this is four damage. We run this. It's six damage. It's not all from hand, but like the idea is that we run here, break this, Hokusai grid, two damage pop, two damage a pop. Hokusai does two damage. Like that's pretty nuts though. Uh, so I think the best move is just to hold on and then contest remotes. I think R&D is off. This is a good card. And in theory, if we just run the right remotes, right? <laughs> Because they have a hard time scoring. They really do. And if they're not running traps, and it's unfortunate that we can't see the top of R&D, so we can't actually defuse traps. Uh, we might also just want to get a wanton. Uh, running is just really difficult. That last visual we might have wanted. I don't think they're going to do anything besides, like, just... Slowly uh, flood. I think we know two early EMPs. We're pretty sure this is an Aiki. Aiki? I don't know how to pronounce that. How many Wantons do we have left? We threw out one. We threw out two. Like, so much of this deck is just playing what your options are. And drawing one Wanton isn't really an option we can play to. This deck is lacking a bit of HQ pressure. In theory, if we, we could put, like, a... 
a nerve agent in here, but I'm worried with macrophage that that might not be so hot. Yogg is good. I think we'll actually put that down just to get us up to full MU, and if we have a data sucker, we can start breaking this for free. But more importantly, we can take pot shots at, at HQ. We want to run early in the turn, just so that we can draw up. It's going to keep asking me to install multiple black orchestras. That's going to get annoying. So whether or not they fire with this is going to be interesting. Looks like they're holding off. Trash shock. Okay. So that's good. I think we can draw once. Day job's fine too in this matchup. Like if there's nothing we're doing on the turn, we throw a day job, which makes us not discard a card, and we just gain eight credits. With enough credits, we all have all the breakers we need. Uh, I think we have an MK Ultra in here too. That's a Hokusai grid. What's that? I'm assuming that's probably a hostile infrastructure. If it's a 3-2, we lose the game. Like if that's a Philotic Entanglement. I don't think we actually have to play Day Job now, considering that we can sure gamble. So if that's a hostile, we want to deal with that first before we run HQ. I th I'm assuming that's a hostile if they put a Hocus Eye there. So I think I'm actually going to gamble up, or maybe we're not in a rush. If, it, if it's Philotic Entanglement, we lose, but I don't think they would... If they want to install Philotic, I think they install three cards, just because if you install multiple remotes, it's actually really hard to run everything with House of Knives. So I think Day Job's fine here. We also know this is iced, so it can't be... Well, we trashed all of these, right? But it can't be something like that. If it's a Jackson, it's good. I'll let them draw up and then play the Rumor Mill. Actually, we lost the Rumor Mill. Shit. 20 cards left in our deck. That's a Jackson. So now running HQ looks kind of nice. There's a chance that this last click, they uh, play a Friends in High Places, and then they get a Hostile out, as well as getting to um, Bioethics. And that is going to put us in a bit of a tight situation. Uh, if we didn't lose our rumor mill, right? If we lost another medium, that'd be good. So now we can ask anything you'd like to do. Because if they do want to shuffle with Jackson, they have to do it right now before we play. Um, so we're going to check this before we play rumor mill. Sorry. We're going to check server seven. They don't have that many credits. We're going to be using our scrubber as much as possible. Saw Black Orchestra? No, we break this for free. Why do they res that? Let's say a program trashing? That was a mistake. Though. Oh, yeah, they know. No worries. De res it. Yeah, they goofed that. That's fine. So I'm assuming they don't have. Uh, even then, you wouldn't res it if you have program trashing it. So you can de res if you like. I don't mind. We got information from that, so. Okay, whatever. Nah, screw it. All right, we lost our sure gamble. Eh, it's fine. So, what is this? Fetal AI, which we will steal. Cost two. I th think we just draw up. Because if we run it, we can't run anymore. They'll do two damage to us. And then they have two neurals in hand. They might have three neurals. So if they do two damage to us, we trash Jackson. We'll have no cards in hand. Do we need these cards? No. And then all we can do is draw John. We'll lose the triple neural, which is less than ideal. I think we just take four off of this. Hmm, we'll see. It, leaving Jackson on the table really sucks. HQ is going to flood up. There's a chance there's actually a bunch of future perfects in archives, and they're assuming that we just can't contest them and play the side game over and over again, considering uh, there's shocks in here. There might actually be three shocks in there. So we'll see how that goes. Things are getting more and more difficult. Our heap last turn, we threw out nothing important. Oh, Deja Vu is actually relatively important. Well, holy crap, how do you close this? How the heck do you close this now? What do you do? How... Am I stuck in here? No. I don't know how to close a heap. Jinteki.net? <laughs> Help! Oh, we just gotta zoom out a whole lot. Oh, that was not good. That was scary. Okay, so we can't open the heap anymore. That's an added condition to this game. <laughs> Alright, let's see what they're gonna do. Holy crap, we can't open a heap anymore. They're just drawing with Jackson, which makes sense. 
I think they need to find the friends in high places just because they'll put a lot of pressure on us. If they can put down two friends, uh, friends in high places, if they can put down two um, bioethics and then serve that up with um, triple neuro from hand to follow up, we're in a bad spot. Uh, again, the Flotic Entanglement will be game. And we can't check both of these remotes. There's no doubt they're running Flotic Entanglement, right? So we have to defuse this as elegantly as we can. Okay, three more cards down. Let's just look at the top card that we trashed, which is a making an entrance. This is actually, like, we might want a Deja Vu to play Employee Strike. Or even Deja Vu for I've Had Worse is probably better. Yeah, I think that's probably better, because then we can actually have time to contest all this crap. So we Deja Vu for I've Had Worse, we run this, we run this, and then see how things go. We haven't drawn any I've had worse, which is kind of unlucky, but you can't rely on too much on, like, this deck. Do we need Trash Jackson? I think so. HQ is looking nice. Just because they've been drawing a lot. And they are running 3-5 agendas. Okay, so that's one hit. They missed our I've had worse. Now they've hit our I've had worse. This is ideal. Whether or not they're going to use this is going to be interesting. I think R&D is the safest part to put agendas, so if they shuffle them, ah, it's going to look a lot of, let us have this. That's nice. I'd assume they would have res the bioethics if that was an option. So we could play Dirty Laundry onto the server, um, or we could keep it as a hit point in hand. I like the hit point in hand idea. I think we can check everything. A psychic field actually might be a huge problem. Yeah, a psychic field here and we lose the psychic and we lose the entire game. Yeah, it's nothing to it. If we lose this, we lose the entire game. So the question is, do we play safe or not? We only have 12 in our deck. Like, we have to play a bit aggressive. All right, two two cards down. Oh, I opened the heap again. Not something I should be doing. Techie.net, help. Okay. Uh, successful run. Philotic, okay, we found it. Good. We did the right call. We really did. And we can win this game now. All we have to do is hit a future perfect off of HQ. And there's no longer an agenda here that they can fast advance out, that they can win the game. This is actually going to be really close. Uh, triple, Philotic, triple, no, they use all their house of knives. This is really good. What's this? Probably don't care. I think next turn we run HQ. Ideally get a future perfect, play a couple side games, and maybe close the game out. So I'm just gonna draw once for safety's sake. And I've had worse is like the best thing we could have draw. If we didn't draw, draw that would have gone into the heap, which we're not gonna click on again for the rest of the game. You can assume everything is in the heap, considering we only have nine cards left in stack. <laughs> I can't open the heap. I didn't realize how bad of a problem that was gonna be. Playing celebrity gift, which is insanely good for us, because we know there's a global food in there. One and five, all those other cards aren't that spiky. So they're kind of just showing us where the game point is. Oh, that's not game point, right? Because it's only a two-pointer. Hmm. Well, at least we know they're in R&D, and we can get one more good R&D run, probably. And they take a credit. So we're for sure going to run uh, here. I don't think we're going to even use the Dirty Laundry. We just need to keep as many cards as possible. The fact that we only have six in our deck left means that every card is worth more than money like we can always click for credits we can't draw cards when we're out of cards so let's go a R and D. this is probably um a hokusai there's a chance that actually is like a proper defensive upgrade like f caprice so we can actually break this for free which is fine no i don't want to install this now there's three so i have to click this three times that's annoying yeah that's a hokusai what why is it asking us again come on Continue. That's fine. We'll trash that for two credits. This is why the scrubber is good. We have a one in five of doing something really good here. Uh, let's access card from hand first. That's a neural. That's fine. And we trash this. And now we can actually just run HQ a bunch of times. I don't care that we're giving them money. We just need to get that one in five. Oh, f fuck off, Black Orchestra. Neural EP, no surprises there. We have nothing better to do besides run HQ. Okay, I'm still not installing Black Orchestra. 
Darling EP, no surprises. Let's go one more time. So the chance of hitting this, I'm pretty bad at statistics, but it's a one in five for unrelated times. So someone can run the numbers on that, whether we're actually favored to get this or not. Another Gnarly MP. Ah, shame. Okay. So let's just look at the chat log real quick. They had Gnarly MP DNA tracker. So they probably just put a DNA tracker on HQ. Gnarly MP DNA tracker, three, um, three Gnarly MPs, DNA tracker, and the Global Food Initiative. So I wouldn't be surprised if they put a big old ice on front of HQ, but they're actually just drawing. Is there a chance this deck runs snare? Because if it is, that's going to suck. That's likely the DNA tracker. So we have two choices here. What's that? What could that possibly be? It's something they drew, right? So we don't know what it is. If it's a like, do we actually have to run on anything? I don't think we do until they start advancing stuff. I want to open their heap, but I'll assume that it's just a bad, not a good idea because we might actually want. Maybe we do want money just so that we can start breaking. What's it cost to break DNA Tracker with Black Orchestra? It's like 12. I'm going to open the heap. No, I'll just type Black Orchestra in here. So if you ever type something into Jinteki and it, it, you type it correctly, this will pop up. So we can do the math here. So it's plus three for two strengths. So we have to pump that twice. First gives us the four. Second gives us the second. So three, six. So it costs us nine to break. Which is technically more sustainable. This card represents a hit point, but it also represents, uh, in theory, 10 credits. Not sure if that's worth it. Pretty sure this is about the, the thing. What could this be, right? I don't think it's anything that we really care about. I think we just want to wait until they're... We also can't run Archives, right? There's like a big chance that there's a Future Perfect in here, but if we run Archives, we're going to take 2 to 3 damage. Likely 3 damage, actually. We're pretty sure one of these is a Shock, since we saw it in HQ before. We haven't seen it now. So I don't know what's the best play here. Like, if we run HQ, we probably have a 1 in 5. Maybe now a 2 in 5, if considering they drew up. But we only have one shot for that. And I don't really think we care what this is. We know it's not a bioethics. If it's a hostile infrastructure, they don't have that many things more to trash. We don't know what this is either. If we don't do anything, like this is our last turn. We're not drawing up any more cards. So in theory, if we put this down, like it's not going to matter unless we run this turn. Like we could put down liberated accounts if we're not running this turn. So we got to figure out what we're doing. Uh, I'd rather run HQ when the chances are higher. So I think maybe we do just get money. Yeah, that's fine. Now we can actually threaten with Black Orchestra. We could also, like... Oh, we can't get a Data Sucker. Oh, we should have checked if there was a Data Sucker in here, because that's worth checking. There's not actually an easy server to get Data Sucker counters on, so... Actually, never mind. Now that I've had worse, it's useless as well. Because we're going to trash the two, top two cards of our deck. And they're drawn up, which means that the entire game is now going to be Run HQ hopefully steal an agenda, and then just keep doing that as expensive as it is with uh, Black Orchestra. What are these cards? Do they matter? Right? Like, they don't have a 3-2 agenda, so it only matters to run that once they start advancing it. I still think the best play here is just to click for credits. Right? Like, there's nothing in that server that it matters. They can't score it. It can't do damage to us unless we touch it. We haven't seen any signs of Ronin combo, considering they celebrity gifted us a whole bunch of times. So, like, again, we might just want to wait for them to flood out or even deck themselves. Like, they have to do something aggressive and we don't. If we click for credits, they can't actually touch us. Until they start advancing cards. And if they start advancing cards, there's no, if they don't, like, arc lockdown us, there's no piece of ice we can't deal with. Well, actually, considering that we do have the... The paperclip in hand. There's no piece of ice that we can't deal with. Is this what it's going to come down to? Do we both attrition each other? They also have another Jackson Howard, which helps. If they start advancing that, we're going to have to deal with it. 
but I still think clicking for credits is the best c- path of like it, it's our out, right? This is interesting. They have eight more turns to win the game in. Unless, well, if they have Jackson, they probably do have a Jackson. They'll have 11 more turns. Okay, we have to run this. We really do. And I'm not going to install the, the paperclip. So this is a fetal AI. We take two damage. Which means Neural, Neural, Neural doesn't kill us, but then they can just Jackson him back in. So we're going to have to run this, and then we're going to have to get aggressive, and then we're going to have to run HQ, and hopefully get the food. So I think we run this, and it doesn't matter if we run it first or last click, unless it's a Fairchild 3.0, which it's unlikely. So let's just take three credits and run. If this is a trap, like we lose if it is, like we, I don't know if we lose if it is a trap. Oh, cute. Fire. <laughs> That's adorable. Data mine. Doesn't want net damage. Can't prevent it. Another day. Oh, that's so great. And we probably lost. Like, if that's a fetal AI, we lose. Oh, that's so good. Did not expect that. It's a global initiative. That's good. We're all holding on. Triple Neural doesn't kill us. Oh, boy. This is going to be close. <laughs> So if they like friends in high places, double data mine into fetal AI. When the runner accesses fetal AI, do two unit damage. So in theory, we can't win. We have to go off of HQ and probably win a Psy game off of a future perfect. This is going to be really close. And they're drawing, which is just going to help us out. The fact that we have three cards in hand is perfect because we can run archives. Oh, I guess when you run archives, you choose the order. So if we, we can access a future perfect and hopefully have a chance of winning the game before we had to hit the fetals. I mean, the shocks. So we might actually have two runs on archives. The fact that we had a 102 card deck didn't matter. We're still down to the end of both of our decks. Okay, Neural, that makes sense. Neural, that makes sense. Last card. I can't steal a fetal AI anymore. Last card, Levy. Would be Raffles. Oh, it totally would. So if we had a Levy right now, it'd be beautiful, but uh, we don't. We definitely don't. Okay, so what they can do is they can, in theory, like, oh, for neural AMP, we have to run. So even if we sit back, nothing happens. And then we just run on any card that they advance. And I'm assuming they don't have advanceable traps. And I don't know what else they can do. Besides, like, friends in high placing to um, neural eth uh, bioethics. And then having enough, like, having enough of these in the hand. There's a chance that we want to check this. If it's a shock, I don't think it's a shock. But if it's a snare, that sucks. But if it's a psychic field, we only lose one card, which isn't that bad. I think we're just going to go for the conservative play. Because no matter what, if that is a Jackson we trash it, they'll just use it. Let's click for credits. You can get one more run on HQ, probably. So this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 8 agenda points somewhere between the 5 cards in R&D, 6 in hand, and all of these. Okay, there are lockdowning. Probably for the Black Orchestra. Ish. Seems good. So now we only have one shot through DNA Tracker. And DNA Tracker will kill us if we don't deal with it. There's an argument that we should have ran Aki and just pulled out our Black Orchestra. We'll see if we regret that. That actually was probably the better play. Considering they only had one early MP. It's probably the right play. And they're playing friends in high places. Alright. What's it going to be? Bioethics and maybe a hostile infrastructure. It is a hostile infrastructure. If there's two hostile infrastructures on the table, we can't trash this. So what's the chance that it is another hostile infrastructure? We can always find out, like you can run and not trash it, and then hostile in 18. Thank you, that's very kind. So we want to run this, see what it is. Oh, we know what it is, right? And if they res the ho two hostiles, we don't trash it. If they run, run ho one res one hostile, well, we don't trash it anyways, right? Because they have a neural in hand. So our best bet is either run 
R&D or either run HQ. And this is going to do one, one da net damage to us. So what's the chance? What's the chance? We know one of these cards is a neural and we don't know the other one. And no matter what, if you trash this, we die. Because we'll, we'll take one net damage on this. And then the neural is from hand. And if we don't res, I'll res this and then we have two turns to live. So the question is HQ or R&D. We probably know what this ice is, so I'm more tempted to go uh, HQ. I think that's all we do, is, is we just run HQ here. We also have... No, we only have one shot. Okay, well, this is it. This is it. Comes down to this. They res the DNA tracker here. Also, if they res the DNA tracker, we can now actually trash the bioethics because they won't have enough money for both. This is okay. But they can still neural us regardless, but at least we'll be able to trash both of these. And they're not resing it. Maybe they don't have an agenda in here. Maybe they only have a fetal and we'd lose. I think they realize that if they res that, it's over. Data mine? Okay, so we know two cards in here. What's the chance the last is an agenda? Do we just want to go R&D? Well, I don't see why we don't go HQ one more time. And then last click run R&D. Oh, once we give them 13 credits, they can res both of them. So this actually might be a mistake. They, uh, yeah. We'll see. I think we run R&D here. Aki, okay, we know all cards in hand. I think the only option right now is to run R&D. So I think take a credit just in case we need to pull out an MK Ultra or whatever and then run R&D. Last run in the game. If it's a fetal, I think we still lose, right? Because we can't. We don't have two cards in hand. Show me another DNA tracker, my friend. Pop up. Lovely. So we obviously break that. If there's a food on top, we're good. It's last run, last click of the game, last access. Successful run. Card from deck. Hocus I grid. Fuck. GG. Oh, we almost had it. Oh, that was a really close game. Super exciting. And Bioethics is going to kill us. That was close. Oh, we could have probably ran archives last click. Ah, shit. Yeah, we probably should rent archives. Bin with three snares. Or shocks, right? Oh, yeah. We totally goofed that. If we ran archives, we actually had a chance of winning the game. Because we had to play three side games, and we basically have three shots of winning the game. So that's like three one and threes, and we could have had it. I think running R&D was pretty stupid. Yeah. If they also had little credits, we should have ran archives. Goof that. Oh, no. That's disappointing. We could have had this. I tunneled too hard, right? Uh, the fact that they weren't resing this is probably an argument why. Not only the bioethics thing, right? But if we win archives, they didn't have enough money to contest all of these. At least, like, one a shot. You die first. How does it work if we're on match point and you access shocks? Uh, you die first? No. You pick the order of the cards from archives. So I'll play the side games first before I ever hit the shocks and hopefully win. All right, some snares on the table. So we called that correctly and we called the DNA tracker correctly too. So that's all really good. Yeah, we could have had this. We easily could have. We just goofed. If we ran archives, right? Oh, there's foods in there. Oh, foods. I thought future perfect. Oh man, I feel stupid. Could have had it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned. We'll have more games coming up. Ciao. Fuck.